what's up? Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda, what's good? Red Panda Anthem. First, um, speaking of speaking of NFTs, the Royal the Royal Manic. The Royal Manic. Somebody coin that, please. Um, speaking of NFTs, I saw something. It'll be one tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Night. Right now. Yeah. I saw something that was very interesting. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. I just saw it like an hour ago. Samsung. Mm -hmm. See this? Mm -hmm. Sam All right. So let me paint the picture first. Yeah. Uh oh, he got some good. <laughs> so man. NFT. Now you left this out the group text. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so the thing with NFT, he's obviously, you know, it has different cases, but like the art, the art part of NFTs, right? People mm -hmm. still trying to wrap their heads around, like, all right, well, where do you show the art? Where do you, if I buy a board ape for four hundred thousand dollars, yeah, I could put it in my icon and Instagram. But like, if I buy a Basquiat, I'm gonna put it on my wall, right? Mm -hmm. Where do you where do you where do you highlight your, your board ape? Bing bong. Uh oh. <laughs> so Samsung has the bright idea to come out with the first NFT TV this year, where you actually are gonna be able to browse, purchase, and display your NFT on your TV screen. Like the like the portrait TV. Yes. Ah. Yes. This is a portrait. Yes. We can change the portrait. Yeah. You want tween, tween, step back three? 38 <laughs> feet on me? <laughs> I can't lie. That's hard. Shout out to 19 Keys. That's in. <laughs> that's that's, a game that's game. incredible. That's, 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 that's pretty dope. That's, a fact. that's pretty dope. That's pretty interesting. And I can't negate that one. They killed it with the portrait, Jane, but that's 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 a crazy use. That is unique. Kind of, yeah. You could just keep the flow going. That's the, one of the best things. Like You could just change the NFT, change the environment. Or... If you really fly, you just get a couple of them joints and put it on your wall and just have it going. Museum. Shout out yeah. Filet. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's stunning. Invite, invite a young lady over. Have the board eight <laughs> NFT here. <head. laughs> we're not, we're not going to do board eight. We're going to do something even better. Well, I'm just saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Samsung, I got to give them credit. That's something that I'm surprised that some, nobody else has thought about that. But you gonna slide snow over and have an NFT art wall? <laughs> I, I made one just for you. <laughs> hey, do for love out on Spotify right now, Joe. I love you too. You know you're my dog. <laughs> we got to get y'all on a conference call and, and iron this out. Pod wars. <laughs> oh man. Well, yeah. Like I said, I, I think you know it's it's interesting. And I think that you know companies just in general, and that's the, take, the takeaway for your business yeah. is like when I say your business, anybody that's listening. Um, mm -hmm. just never be afraid to, to try new things, adapt to the times. That's, that's the key word. I was going to say adaptation. They are already mm -hmm. kings in the TV space. If they know art and they, like I said, like they made these, this series of TVs where you can display art and it looks like a painting. That's why I was attracted to the TV. But now this is another use case to display art. So adaptation, that's, that's, that's dope. Yeah. Samsung, number two provider of semi-chip conductors. So if people buying those TVs, make sure you get it. The only reason that we don't hear about the more semiconductor spaces is because they use all of them for their, for their own products. Samsung, they yeah, they yeah. should. Yeah. They should keep the supply chain in house. And now everybody's trying to do that. Yeah. Amazon included. Yeah. Um, let's talk about Visa and Mastercard. Ooh, charma. <laughs> Visa and Mastercard. Ooh. Did he flame them this weekend or what? How's that going to work out for this year? <laughs> Hold on, really Me. quick. Really oh, quick. Earning? Really quick. I got to do my earnings report brought to you by the good folks at Ladder. Right. So we talk about this all the time, uh, and we should, right? Uh, why not pay a bit of your monthly income to protect the ones you love? If you ask yourself that question, I want you to check out Ladder. And Ladder makes it impressively fast and easy to get covered. You just need a few minutes and a phone or a laptop to apply. Ladder's smart algorithms work in real time, so you'll find out instantly if you're approved. No hidden fees, canceled anytime. And since life insurance costs more as you age, and you should know that, y'all should know that. Mm -hmm. Now um, to cross it off your list. So check out Ladder today. <coughs> To be approved, go to ladderlife.com slash market mondays. That's L A D D E R life.com slash market mondays. Ladderlife.com slash market mondays. It is a quiet week in the report. Uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, a company um, that is interesting to watch uh, <laughs> during since the pandemic. We've seen it rise, we've seen it fall, we've seen it pull back. Um, we've seen it almost become one of these meme stocks. They will be reporting on Thursday. And then it's trash. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. Put it right. Uh, ne next week, next week, uh, we got some big earnings, and then obviously the third week, we got the major players coming in into with their earnings, and we'll talk about that next week. Yeah. All right. So Visa, Visa, and Mastercard. Uh, so Chamath, this I think this weekend said that uh, he think that Visa and Mastercard are going to fall apart. Um, Chamath is probably one of the greatest investors to ever walk the planet. 
yeah, we got to get them on the show. Um, higher net worth than me, so I can't argue with them there. I think MasterCard's value will go down dramatically, but I think Visa will be okay. They got a, they have a ton of crypto projects they have not announced. I think they would be the only one in that space that will emerge okay. Um, but yeah, I think MasterCard will hemorrhage a bit as a result of some of these crypto projects and peer to peer and seamless payment integration and smart contracts. So um, if interest rates go up anymore and post April, I would be worried about MasterCard. If it gets to a place of, um, I mean, if, well, that's too low. I don't want to be given all the hot takes. If MasterCard gets to like 42 bucks, I would be interested there. But anywhere from 62 bucks to 56, I would not touch it. For sure, I, I would leave it. Um, I, I believe it alone. So Visa is the only one out of that group that I like. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. My apologies. If it goes down to 292.42, 292.42 is the only area that I like it. Anywhere from 373 down to 323, please do not touch. Um, it's too dangerous in those zones. Visa, I do like, however. You like Visa? Visa is amazing. Yeah. I want everyone put in chat how many merchants do they have that use mm -hmm their platform and how many consumers and co credit card and debit card usage. Yeah. I, I was, I, I was, they still need to innovate, but yeah, they're great. I was uh, invested in Visa and um, it just kind of was trading sideways for me. And so I, I said, you know, I'm moving to it. I, I like Visa too. Um, it's interesting in the article he brought up and we spoke about this on Market Mondays, the the Amazon ban in the UK. And he was saying like, this could be something that's- It's a good test. Yeah, when people will see like, listen, if, if they're going to charge this amount of fees and we're paying these fees, why do we need them? Um, so it'll be interesting to watch. I, I thought that was interesting that he brought that, that piece up. Um, but what yeah. About, what, about, what about American Express? I love American Express. I've loved it since it was 99. I think we spoke about it here maybe two years ago when it was yeah. just making a merchant deal with uh, with China. And we know that China is, is known for spending tons of money on luxury goods. The fact that they moved to China to, to broaden their horizon and their business was like solid move. It couldn't happen at a at a better time. Um, and it went from 99, where's it at now? Like 168 or something like that? Was it true? Uh, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so 168.21. Yeah, and if you guys can get it at 150.118, American Express is good. Plus their user base is a little bit different, higher net worth. So even during economic downturns, they're, uh, they're a hell of a lot safer. Um, for those of you who are looking for exit prices, uh, two years, American Express should go to 234.21. So if you're looking for an exit, 234.21 would be good. But yeah, it was at 971 in 2009. Good long term hold. Um, I will hold this one for 10 years on the long term side. Red Panda Anthem. Ian, what's up? Red Panda Anthem. Red Panda, what's up?